Hello everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Just so you know, I am not in love with any stocks or yield match if you. I'm all about results. Whoever pays me the most gets to be my favorite until the next one does better. Money talks, baby, money talks. And that's my kind of romance. The kind I have with the stocks and yield max ETF. You do better, you are in my portfolio. You do not perform, bye bye, baby, move on. So last week, I did a video where I ranked the yield max ETF by their performance. Right? So, so I look at all 34 of those and based on air to date performance, I rank them. So here's what I'm going to do in this video. What I will do is, if you look at the yield max ETF, right, every single yield max ETF, except few, which is like a multiple stock bucket, every single yield max ETF is associated with one underlining stocks. Let's take an example of NVDY, the yield max ETF, the reference is nvidia same go to netflix netflix that's a yield max etf for netflix connie is the yield max etf for coin misty for macro strategy and fby for meta or facebook whatever you want to call it so as i said i'm not in love with any of this symbol nothing sexy to me whichever produce the best results get to be a part of my portfolio so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a look at it and see which is more profitable. Just buying the stock itself or investing in yield max ETF. So I'm going to do three comparison over here. Number one, I will just do the simple stock buy. Just buy it and hold it, right? Number two, I'm going to invest in yield max ETF. Now, when you invest in yield max ETF, you get paid distribution every month. Now, there's two ways you can use your distribution money. Either you can just cash out, that will be my strategy number two, or what we can do is instead of cashing it out, we will take that money and buy more sh share or ETF of the same. And that way we can grow our number of ETF we have. So the three different strategy, whichever perform the best, that we will find out at the end of this video. So before I go into the detail of the video, just one request, please share, subscribe, like, comment. I'm in a mission to have 1,000 subscribers by Thanksgiving. There's only uh, less than two weeks left. So please subscribe, share, like. You know, 90% of my listener or the person who watch my videos are non-subscribers, you know, so please do subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. Anyhow, one more thing. I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm not going to tell you what to sell, what to buy, when to sell, when to buy. That's your decision. I'm just a mathematician. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at each one of them and see, hey, which one produces the best results. It's just pure math. It's simple and easy, which you can do it from the comfort of your home. It's so simple and easy, but let's get it started now. Okay, let's take a look at it. Okay, so I picked five yield max ETF, right? I mean, NVDY, Netflix, Connie, Misty, and FBY. Now, the stock for those are NVIDIA, Netflix, Coin, Macro Strategy, and Meta. Now, so you see these two things that I highlighted in yellow? That's all we need. We just need, this is very simple, it's very simple math. All we need to do is just think about it. You know, it's just a mindset. So all we need is just two pieces of information to do the calculation for the stock, right? The purchase price and the sale price. So what I'm going to do is, okay, let's start with NVIDIA, right? What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the price of NVIDIA on January 2, 2024. And we will take a look at the price of it today or the last trading day of the week, which was yesterday, 11.15. So let, I'd like to do is I'll go to Yahoo. Uh, the way I do is I usually like to go to Yahoo. But the reason for going to Yahoo is because it gives me an option to look 
at it more clearly. Let's take a look at NVIDIA, right? So the, the go to historical data over here, and you can take a look at it. Okay, you see this on a daily basis. You say the price it opened, high it went, low, and the close price. Right? So let's take a look at January second, twenty twenty four. January second, twenty twenty four. The closing price is forty eight dollars seventeen cents. So here it is. So let's put it forty eight dollar seventeen cents. I will come to that in a second. How did I get one hundred three eight zero? Now, what is the price of it today? Of Nvidia, the price of Nvidia today eleven fifteen was. 14198 14, 141.98 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14. so here's our right so on january 2nd the price of nvidia was 48 dollars 17 cents right now what i'm going to do is i will be investing five thousand dollars on every single one of them right so let's so when i invest five thousand dollars over here right i mean what is it you invest five thousand dollars the price is 48 one seven that means you got you can buy 103 share of nvidia i know we don't trade in fraction but for the sake of simplicity i will leave it as it is right because i don't want to mess up with the numbers too much and skew it so now the price of nvidia today is 141.98 what does that mean value of it today means the stock price of today which is 141.98 and since we invested five thousand dollar and number of shelby bodies one with three point eight zero right I mean the value of nvidia today is fourteen thousand seven hundred dollars five thousand dollar invested in nvidia on january 2nd 2024 is worth fourteen thousand seven hundred dollars what does that mean that means we made a gain of $9,700, right? Because $14,700, you take out the $5,000, which was your initial investment, right? All right, so let's take a look at one more of them. Let's go to the another one, Netflix, right? Eh? Same thing on Netflix. Let's take a look at what the price of Netflix was on January 2nd. Same thing over Yahoo. Go to Yahoo, Netflix, the, and then historical data january 2nd 2024 here you go where did it where are you my friend here you go 468.50 right 468.50 was the 468.5 was the price of netflix on january 2nd 2024 that same thing like that right five thousand dollar you investing it the price is 468.5 that means you can buy 10.67 share of netflix now let's take a look at it what's the price of it today price of netflix today is 823.96 right 823.96 right what does that mean the price is 823.96 you own 10.67 Six seven share of Netflix, so total is eighty seven ninety three. So five thousand dollar invested in Netflix at the beginning of the year is worth eighty seven ninety three, to the gain of thirty seven hundred dollars. Right. So you can do the same thing for Coin, Macro Strategy, and Meta. All you need to do is look at the, the price at the beginning of the year and the price today, and that's pretty much it, right? So if you look at all of these, so let's. I already did it to save your time. Right, so, so here it is. Right, so what does that mean? Right, so here let's do take a look, summarize this. So five thousand dollar invested in this stock, Nvidia, Netflix, Coin, Macro Strategy, Meta. Five thousand dollar, you gain nine. This is the gain. This is not the value of the 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 stock. This is the gain you made. Nine thousand, three thousand, four thousand. Macro Strategy twenty thousand. Facebook 3000. So pretty much every single one of them is a gain, right? I mean, it's a positive. So now that is the strategy number one that we bought the stock itself. Now let's take a look at strategy number two, which is let's invest into the yield maxity, right? 
NVDY is the yield max ETF symbol for NVIDIA. Netflix is for Netflix. So if we invested $5,000 in the stock itself, this much gain would have, we would have made. This is just the gain. We make almost like double their money. So sometimes could ripple, could ripple our money there. Now let's take a look at the yield max ETF and see how much we will make if we invest in the yield max ETF. So let's do this. It's same thing, we will go over here. Now let's take a look instead of that. Let's, I'm going to do the same thing for, all right. Same thing over here. So you see the three piece of information. We need the price that we purchase on, the price that was gonna be selling it or the price which was yesterday. And the, the other thing that we need for this yield max ETF is the dividend earn, right? Because that is the only reason that we are investing in this yield max ETF because we get monthly dis or weekly distribution. So there are two ways we can use our distribution. Number one, we can just cash out. Number two, we can actually reinvest it. So I'm gonna do the both strategy and see. And so we have three strategy. Number one, buying the stock. Number two, buying the yield max ETF, cashing out. And then the third one is the drip, right? Dividend reinvestment plan. We'll buy the yield max ETF, but we will reinvest the dividend. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is the another thing that should be so very simple. Now, NVDY, right? So let's take a look over here. The same thing, go to Yahoo. Let's take a look at NVDY. You go to NVDY. Historical data, January 2nd. That is what we're going to be doing. January 2nd, the price was $22.13. Right? What is the price? $22. $22.13. Right? Now, so you see that? What does that mean? We invested $5,000, right? I mean, say the, that, let's do the calculation here. We invested $5,000 and price of the ETF is $22.13. That means we could buy $225.94. Now let's take a look at it. Right? What is the price of NVD today, right? The price of NVDY today is the closing price on February $25.20. $25.20. 25.20 right so let's do this i'm gonna do this this okay so now what does that mean now the other piece of information that we need is the dividend earned here today now let's take a look go over here right let's go to yield max etf over here nvdy right nvdy so this is the dividend pay right monthly basis now if you look over here, right? If you look uh, over here, what did, let's take a look over here. So let's say uh, this is January, February, March. So this is the distribution. Let's, let me just take this out. Let's do this, right? And then you go here. Let's let's do this over here. Okay, let's say, let's do it. Okay, let's let's do it. Right? This is it. now. Here's what I'm gonna do. So if you add all this up. It comes to eighteen dollars thirty-five cents, right? I mean, see if you add this up, eighteen thirty-five. So what does that mean? Is dividend earned is eighteen dollars thirty-five cents, correct? Now, what does that really mean? Let's let me just take do one calculation for you, so you can see how it get done. Now, what is the current value of ETF? Price today, price and the number of share you own, right? 5,693. Now, dividend earned, every single one of them, if you invested in January, you've been getting paid dividend or distribution every month, right? You're getting paid every month over here, and that's what it is, right? So, so this will be 1835 multiplied by 225.94. So, what does that mean? That means the value of the ETF is 5600 and you earn $4,100 in dividend that you keep getting every month and you're cashing it out. The total value of the investment is $9,800. That means $5,000 invested in NVDY 
is equal to $9,800, which means it's a gain of $4,839. Let's just take one more example. Let's take a look at Nifty. Same thing over here, Nifty. Let's take a look at the price on January 2nd and January 15th. Nifly NFLY. NFLY. So the price of this on January 2nd is, my apology for scrolling down, but, but there's no other way to teach you other than this one. January 2nd is $17.73, right? So just January 2nd is $17.73. If we investing five thousand dollar, you know we can, you know, we investing five thousand dollar, and each one of them is seventeen seventy three, which you can buy two hundred eighty two, right? That's what it is. Now, what is the price of it today? Price of it today is eighteen dollar five cent, right? Eighteen oh five, eighteen oh five. Now. You're also getting paid dividend every month, right? So let's go to the Netflix over. I think I guess, okay, I, I made an, okay, let's go over here. Let's go to the Netflix over here. Let's take a look, where's the Netflix? All right, help, okay, help me find the Netflix here. Okay, where's the Netflix? Okay, here's the Netflix, okay, here. So looking at the, this is the dividend right so let's take a see how much the value of the dividend is right just take copy this over here and let's go over here and then this is for okay you sum this up it comes to eight dollar 22 so right 8.2233 8.22 8.22 right so what does that mean? What is the current value of ETF? Today price, multiply the number of share you own, 5,009. Now, what is the dividend earned? Each share earned $8.22 from year to date, and then quantity is 28.2201. So if you add both of these, the value of the, the ETF plus the dividend earned is $7,400. That means $5,000 invested in yield max ETF is equal to 7,400 gain of 24. So you can do all for all the other one and that is what you come up with, right? So let's take a look over here now. This is the overview, right? So we did two strategy, right? So what we did is strategy number one, we bought the stock. If we invested $5,000 in the stock, we made the gain was 97, 37, 47, and so on. And but instead of buying the stock, we invested in yield max ETF. The gain is 48, 24. You can see that difference now. You can do the one more strategy before I wrap this video up. And I'm sorry if it's getting too long, but this is important stuff. You, you know, it will really help us to get a good picture of it. You know, what is the best way to go for it? A stock or yield max ETF? If yield max ETF, should you be cashing out every month or you will be reinvesting the dividend? So, so we finished two of those. Let's do the third one and I will do it pretty quick on those. Let's also, first one is NVDY, NVIDIA. So NVIDIA, here's how it works, right? Now, if I go over here, let's do this over here. So I'm not going to do that too much. All right, so here it is. Come on, baby, come on, don't. Oh, I'm sorry. This is taking too long. Then, come on, baby. Don't don't make me wait. All right. So I'm looking at NVDY. If you look at NVDY, right. So this is the dividend, right? So let, let's copy like copy all this over here, and then put it over here, right? I copy it over here, and this is paste over here. So you see, this is the monthly dividend we paying. So here's what we're going to be doing: it. We getting paid. On this date, one nine two nine three eight four eight five eight six seven seven eight. So, the date we getting paid instead of taking the cash out, we'll buy more share of that, and we will reinvest it. So, what you will see over here, I'm just going to show you one of them, and then we'll just wrap this video up. Okay, so these are the payment date, right? One nine two nine three eight, right? So one nine two nine three eight. So here's what I'm going to be doing is instead of buying it, 
I mean, it's, it's, no, I'm sorry. Instead of cashing it out, we will be buying more share of this and reinvest it. So here's what it is, right? So on January 2nd, 2024, the price of this, what was the price of, let's take a look over here, right? So NVDY, right? NVDY, NVDY. NVDY, January, okay, NVDY, January 2nd was, not January, January 2nd was, what was that? January 2nd was, price was 2213, right? 2213, so you invested $5,000, right? So if you invested $5,000 and bought the share of NVDY, we bought 225 share of this one, right? Now, we got paid on number nine, right? We got paid one nine. How much we got paid? 0 0.6260. We earned this much of dividend, right? Now, so what that, that means, we own this many share of this, 2594, we earned this much dividend, it means total dividend earn is this much divided by this much. So what are we going to do? $141.44 that we earn the, on the month of January as a distribution, we will not be cashing out. We'll buy more share of that. So let's take a look at it. What's the price of NVDY on January 9? Let's take a look at what here. Here January 9, here it is. $22.20, right? $22.20. So what does that mean? That means we earn $141.44 as a distribution and the price of NVDY is $22.20. It means we bought 6.37 extra share of NVDY. Now, we started with $225.94. We bought 6.37 more. If we add both of this, it becomes 232, 31, right? Same thing over here. Now you go again, right? Let, let's take a look at this, this one again, right? Now let's take a look at this one again. On, on the February 9, distribution 1.5304, right? So 1.5304 distribution was earned, right? Now what was the price of that on that day? So when we earn $1.57 dividend on February 9, that, what does that mean? 1.53 distribution, we own 232 share of this, means we earn 355.53 as distribution money. So what we're doing is we will re reinvest that money into the, the what you call yield max ETF NVDY. So what was the price of that on 2.9, right? On 2.9, the price was, let's take a look at it, 25.50, right? 25.50, 25.50, so what that means is, we have this much of money, it earned because distribution and price is this much, we earn 13.94. That means is, now we bought 13.94 more share of NVDY, so the total becomes 246, right? So we started with 225.94 and every month, when, keep, when we keep getting distribution, we keep increase, buying it, and it, the number of share keep getting more and more. So if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, this is what what you will have is as of today was 440. So we started with 225 share of NVDY and we keep buying it more from the distribution money and today we have 447. And the, what is the price today? The price of this today is, let's take a look at this, where the price of it NVDY today is 2520, right? So you put 2520 over here. Okay, so what does that mean? So the price is 25.20 today and we own 446.96 share of NVDY. That means the value is 11,263. So $5,000 invested in NVDY is equal to $11,263 today, right? After reinvesting all the distribution, that means a gain of 62, 63.49, right? So we can do the same thing for, I have, I did the same thing for, for, for Nifli, right? Did the same thing for Connie, Misty, and Facebook. So I, I went to all of those individually to do the comparison. So I'm, I'm not going to waste your time doing all the calculation over here. You can do it at the comfort of your home. So here's the, this one, right? So we did the stock one. We did the strategy number one, cashing out, and then the third one is, so here is the, 
No. What does that really mean? So take a look at it. If we invest in $5,000 in stock, we, our gain is $9,700. If we, instead of buying the stock, we invest in yield max ETF, our gain is 4839.8. But in this one, we are cashing out. But if instead of cashing out, we are reinvesting the dividend, our gain is this one. So take, let's take a look at all these things. Which one is the highest? 6,000, 9,000, 4,000, 6,200. What do you think? Which one is the winner? This is the winner, right? So you are better off. So winner is stock, right? S-T-O-C-K, stock. So if you have an option of investing all these three strategy, you make the most on by investing stock. Same of Netflix, 37, 24, 30, which one is the winner? This is the winner, right? What do we call it? A stock, right? Same on this one, which one is the winner? Connie, right? Oh. Mac strategy, which is the winner? The stock. So, I will coming to the conclusion in a second let me just wrap this thing up now what does this really mean if you look at all these one of them right if you look at the three strategy right stock yield max etf two strategy what does this see what does this really stand out look at here right i mean let's make it a little bit bigger it's easy to see what do you see over here What you see over here is that if you look, the blue one is a stock gain, right? Red one is the buy and hold, right? The, the red and red and yellow is the yield max ETF with two different strategies, cashing out and drip. 